Uh, now, new research into our sleeping patterns has revealed a potential link between the rapid eye movements or the dreaming phase of our sleep and forming new memories. These findings were published in the journal Science after researchers found blocking the dream patterns of mice caused them to fail certain memory tests. Well, with me now is the BBC Science reporter Jonathan Webb. Uh, you better explain the mice bit first of all, what they've actually done here, Jonathan. It's a very impressive and, and quite elegant piece of research. So, as you probably know, when we sleep, we go through uh, sort of ups and downs, we go through cycles, and, and the deep phase of sleep we've known for a while is quite important for memory. We can see things happening in the brain that suggest we're going back over places we've been and things we've learned, and that's being consolidated in the brain. But that rapid eye movement movement, lighter phase of sleep, which is when humans at least dream, has been a lot more difficult to study. So using mice, these scientists actually managed to go right inside the brain and using a special implant, whenever the mice went into that rapid eye movement phase, they intervened and they shut down a particular rhythm within the brain. And when they did that, the mice the next day failed on certain sort of simple memory tests that were testing whether they remembered things that they'd done the previous day. Can, can you give an example of one of those tests. Yeah, so for example, if you give a mouse two different objects that it hasn't seen before, it'll sort of divide its time between sniffing and exploring each of them. But if you give it one that it saw yesterday and one that it's, is new again, it'll spend all its time generally on the new one. So the mice failed. If they had that intervention during right. their REM sleep... They didn't realise that they'd already seen yeah, that. They split their time evenly between two objects, even though they had actually already seen one of them. That's interesting, isn't it? What, what, what do you think is the value then of this research? What does it do for us? What do we learn? What can we benefit from? Well, there are differences, obviously. Mice are a lot smaller and their brains do have some differences, but they go through very similar phases of sleep. And in particular, this REM phase is physiolog physiologically seems to be really quite similar to what we do. Obviously, we can't know exactly if the mice are dreaming, but there are certain characteristics that are very similar in the brain. So it's likely that this finding holds true for us and that our dreaming phase of sleep is also important for our memories. So the scientists now, one of the things they've told me they'd like to do is to look at that particular type of activity that they shut down in the mice and see if it's normal or if it's impaired or if it's altered in, for example, people with dementia or Alzheimer's disease and whether maybe that different brain activity starts to show up before before kind of symptoms and before actual memory problems so do. possibly some serious um, benefits in terms of application of that. We'll have to leave it there, Jonathan. Fascinating stuff. Thank you very much.